Yo, what up everybody, Cardboard Moses, the man, the myth, the legend is back from my sabbatical. Let's go ahead and do 2018 Archives Baseball, five box break number eight. All right, so as you can see, much better. Uh, I like to have this as my uh, title, if you will. So I like to put the title up on the screen because this is Archives Baseball. Five box. Okay, it's break number eight for eBay. Hey, there it is. It's all on the screen. Awesome possum. What are we doing? We're doing some baseball. So the the well, not the MVP. Actually, the MVPs were already announced, but the rookies of the year. Otani, rookie of the year. On the uh, on, on on his side, and Acuna. On the NL side, and uh, I follow a few uh, groups here and there on Facebook, and I saw an outpouring. What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe not hate, but disdain. That's a good word. Disdain. A lot of people were not happy that Otani won Rookie of the Year. Mostly the Yankee fans. Thinking Andrew Har should have got it. So, my baseball fans, what say you? Yeah, I think I, I think I read a stat that uh, Otani. Was the first player since Babe Ruth to pitch 50 innings and hit more than 20 homers in a season. Which is, you know, to be in that, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty good, that's a pretty good praise to be, or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's a good company to be in. You're saying uh, they're saying they won because of the hype. That's a hell of a hype train. Who votes on that stuff anyway? The uh, the coaches and or, or the media? Like who votes on that? Because I I think in basketball. Coaches vote, and then the media has like an allotted amount of votes, I believe. Alrighty. Alright, let's see what we got here. Good luck, y'all. I'm gonna do my best to keep uh, keep the rookies and stuff separate from everything else. Got a Goose Gossage for the Padres to 175. What's up, Fabricio? Will I be doing a flawless filler? You damn skippy. Let me knock this out, and then I'll put that together. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to split that up, man. I'm going to have to split it up. Because uh, right now, it's at 19 spots left. Let's see. We got Rafael Davis, Red Sox rookie right here. Uh, Desiree. Let's see. Desiree, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. I've been away for about a week now. My my partner, Jason, has been live the past uh, five, six days. So this is the first time I'm hearing about this, Desiree. Um, if you did indeed send us messages and emails, 
my my partner Jason is the one in charge of that stuff. Um, so I, I have to speak to him and see what's going on there. Chances are, Desiree, if you are indeed missing a card or something, we are going to replace it for you, no problem. Um, but he is the one in charge of responding to emails and messages, so I'll send him a text and make sure he does that, Desiree. I, I apologize that it's taken so long uh, to get back to you. Yeah, Fabricio, it's it's just better to do it that way to split it up. Uh, it'll make it, it'll make the filler cheaper. All right, Desiree, whether it's one card or a hundred cards, whatever you're missing, we'll replace it. So no worries on that, Desiree. Again, I apologize, but if you're missing one card or if you're missing a hundred cards, we will replace it. Okay, Harrison Bader. Cardinals uh, rookie, but again, I, I don't know what's going on Desiree, I have been gone for a week So I I hate to say it, but I, I really don't know what's going on with your situation uh, But again, I just want to put you at ease We will replace any hits So no worries, okay, just give us some time to get it figured out, but we will take care of you Desiree What up scuba Steve what up Richard? Tough to get a hit on this stuff, man. Richard, thank you. And I also got your uh, your, your, your little uh, your little package. You sent me some uh, some of your world class popcorn. How's everybody doing? Yeah, dude, Desiree. Uh, again, I apologize. You know, my partner. He's probably been overwhelmed since I've been gone for about a week responding to messages and emails and going live and you know dealing with the daughter and the wife and stuff at home so I'm pretty sure he's really you know really 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 overwhelmed with everything but I just wanted to let you know and everybody else out there if you are indeed missing a card whatever the case may be whether we you know we shipped it to someone else or we you know, it got lost in the mail because of, you know, shipping and handling or whatever the case may be. We will replace your hits, okay? So do not, I repeat, do not worry. We will take care of you. We got a Willie Backman Mets autograph right there. Oh, dude, I, I love it, Richard. I love it. Dominic Smith Mets rookie there. Well, Desiree, that's not odd at all, to be honest with you, as far as having seven teams in one envelope. You know, we do that to save, uh, to save money on shipping. My next question for you, though, is, is it an eBay break? Is it a store break? I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it was an eBay break. Package was ripped open and stolen. Post office has stamps on it. No. Oh, dude, Desiree, so that is... That sounds like something that is beyond our control. That sounds like somebody, like you said, somebody, if the package was ripped open and, and somebody stole your stuff, man. See, I hate that because that is like, once it's out of our office, man, it's, it's really beyond our control. But again, like I said, if you're missing something, we'll replace it. So even if it's not our fault, good old USPS. Anyways, Harrison Bader, rookie autograph of the Cardinals right there. Number to 99. Very nice. Yeah, we never put insurance on our stuff, though, unless you ask for it, Desiree. But, yeah, well, that's, that's the way she goes. That's the cost of doing business, as they say. I, I can't, uh, no, no, no worries at all, Desiree, completely understand, you know, you, you pay money, you, you, you expect to get something, you know, or whatever you paid for, you know what I mean, 
So no need to apologize or anything like that. I completely understand uh, where you're coming from, Desiree. So like I said, dude, or do that. Whatever you're missing, we will replace. Just, just give us some time, because that's not exactly a quick thing to do. You know what I mean? We got to look at the brakes. We got to see what you're missing. And then we got to, you know, order the replacements. And we got to win the you know, There's a lot that goes into it. But we'll definitely take care of you, dude. I don't know. With a name like Desiree, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't want to assume. You know, you're already pissed off as it is. So the, the last thing you need is... Uh, to even get more pissed off. No worries at all, Desiree. It's it's all good. Again, I I apologize that uh, that happened to you. And it's it's never like it, it it always happens with good stuff. I hate to say it. But again, look, you you can ask around, Desiree. You know, ask anybody in here watching. We, we go above and beyond to take care of our people. So I'm not saying you're going to get your cards tomorrow or maybe two days from now. Um, but we will get your stuff replaced. You know, kids play for life. You, 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 I'm gonna have to piggyback there a little bit, Desiree, off what he says. But if you, if the package was ripped open, I mean, that's kind of that's that's something you should definitely take up with the post office. Seriously, that is that is that is that's pretty that's pretty ridiculous. Thank you, Louie. I appreciate that. But, you know, Desiree, if, you, if what you say is true and the package was ripped open, I mean, I would definitely get in touch with the post office. And, well, then again, if there's no insurance on it, then there's nothing they can do about it, I guess. I'll, I'll talk to Jason and I'll make sure that he checks eBay messages and emails and stuff and, uh, and see how we can figure that out. But Desiree, I just if, if I can put you at ease even for a little bit, whatever you're missing, we will take care of it and we will replace it. Thank you, Scuba. I appreciate that. Yeah, nah, I figured that's what they would do, Desiree. That's how a, uh, that's how the rich stay rich. <laughs> You know, if we put insurance on every package we sent, we would probably not be in business very long. So that's that's pretty ridiculous on the post office, but hey. What are you going to do? We'll take care of you, uh, Desiree. No worries. We got Roberto Alomar. Padre's uh, autograph right there. Looks like uh, me or Jason are going to have to be on the phone with the post office for a few hours because that is uh, not our fault, to be honest. Sounds like a complete lack of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Complete lack of responsibility from the, uh, the post office ends on that. Tony Smith, match rookie. Tough to hit in this stuff, but I like the cards. Very nice looking. I like the old school design to them. That's the word I'm looking for, accountability. I was close. I was close with responsibility. I was a little close. We got 
got one autograph out of this box. We got to get one more. Might be one of these Sandlot spots. The uh, Jeter 92 draft pick history rookie. There's the other autograph for the Indians, Jose Mesa. Yeah, Desiree, that, that definitely sounds like some tampering on the uh, post office uh, side of things. Be that as it may, Desiree, you will be taken care of. Just give us a little bit of time to figure things out, and we will take care of you, Desiree. Get run teed. You got my word. But I know, I know that probably doesn't mean much to you, but I promise you, we will make it right. Chris Archer of the Rays, the 175 right there. I appreciate that, uh, that Desiree. You know, now that I'm back, Jason can focus on, you know, checking those emails, you know, messages and whatnot, and ordering replacements for, for anything that needs to be replaced. So, but we'll get all this stuff figured out ASAP. Going to the Tigers ASAP, Miguel Cabrera to 99. Trying to keep the rookie separate from everything else here. What's all that? What's all that stuff there? You got it, Desiree. It's funny you mentioned that because that's actually what I'm going to focus on today. Get those triple threads up out of here. I have a, a three box banger down to 21 teens. But I, I got to see exactly what teams are left in that. I also got a full caser. I want to get all that triple threads done tonight. And it shall be done tonight because I, you know, I, I said so. So it shall be. So what I'm going to do is after I'm done with this, I'm going to see exactly what teams I got left for triple threads. Uh, the cheapest one to get done with would be uh, the three box banger with the $50 hitless credit. I'll see what teams are left, and I'll put it together. I think I could split that in half. Do one 11-spot uh, filler and then another 10-spot filler to, to fill that. Keep it nice and cheap. Put the low low. Anybody watching is wondering, this is uh, box number Maybe. 
Hey, one of the Sandlot spots getting an autograph. Or I should say the Sandlot spot getting an autograph. Kenny De Nunez from the Sandlot. Getting an autograph right there. That's pretty cool. You know, kind of a controversial uh, statement here. But I, I think the Sandlot is... It's a good movie. But I am partial to Angels in the Outfield. Highly underrated movie. And that's that's and that's that. Justin Turner looking like an angel in the outfield for the Dodgers to ninety nine. the hotness well now that baseball's over what's everybody watching football basketball hockey I mean before we know it it'll be you know spring training I want to see what those uh, prospects the Marlins picked up are going to look like Supposedly we got the we signed the two best international prospects which uh, just so happen to be related brothers My man watching hook uh, hockey and football You know I've never actually been to a hockey game That's probably going to change uh, real soon. My thing with hockey is I just, I don't understand it. Like the rules and stuff. I know it's a little bit like soccer in the sense of, uh, you know, there's, there's offsides and stuff like that. It's just, it's a really fast game, man. Rich Aurelia for the Giants. He seems to be like one per case. That guy's autograph. Le'Veon Bell going to miss the entire season. So he pretty much just lost $15 million right there. But at least, you know, he's healthy, I guess. And somebody's going to sign him next season, right? You, you, you think? Definitely won't be the Steeler to tell you that. Listen, I'll be honest. The only thing I, I like about hockey is the fact that you get to you get to duke it out, man. I wish they would let football players do that sometimes. You know? At least once or twice a quarter. Just set aside a good two minutes just just for just for a brawl. Sometimes you gotta duke it out. You know, that's that's how they do it in hockey. You know, you fight for for a good minute or two. Then everybody goes to their penalty box. You go, you know, you get put on timeout. You think about it. And then if you want to scrap afterwards, you, I don't know, man. But I, I am barbaric, so that, that side of hockey, I do quite enjoy. And there's this movie called Goon. That's on Netflix. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but it's a hockey movie. Pretty freaking awesome. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. That would be me, Scuba Steve. <laughs> 
I would be one of those. Ow. No, but I bet actually like go like going to to an actual game is probably a lot of fun. You know, not for nothing that now that I've you know now that I'm back in, in South Florida I gotta say I do miss the uh, 40 degree weather in Georgia at this time of year. Alright. What do we got? Let's see. We got a Pat Neshek. Philly's autograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a short print, if I'm not mistaken, or some kind of a variation that's very rare. It's got the old school tops logo on there for Cody Bellinger, the Dodgers. If you can see, the uh, the base set just has the uh, the tops written out like that. This one has the old school logo on there. That's pretty cool. Look at me catching stuff. All right. An Otani rookie would be even nicer with some ink on it. I like that he won Rookie of the Year. Does he deserve it? I can't answer that. But as a casual fan of baseball, I like it. Juan Soto, rookie for the uh, Nationals to 25. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's a big time card. His stuff uh, selling for a pretty penny. There you go. What is this? Ray Foss? I hope I pronounced that correctly. Autograph for the Indians. It's a... Oh, was, was that numbered? It's not numbered, but it does have, I wonder if it's like a short print or something, because it has that black border on there. Anyway, it's been a while since I ripped open some archives. What up, Big Greg? What did Pete Rose do now? Big Greg, not long enough, man. But it was a good time. It was a great time. Got to hang out with family. And I was pretty much wasted the entire time. Dude, it was, it's to the point, like, I, I, I came in yesterday, my, my flight was delayed, I came in yesterday, and I slept the entire day. I woke up, like, at 9 o'clock, I, you know, watched some, you know, put, like, a, the show that I've been watching, 
uh, Altered Carbon on Netflix. Highly suggest it. Really cool show. Finished watching that, and then I went right back to sleep, dude. I slept. I, I slept maybe ten hours the five days that I was out there, or I lied, the four days that I was out there in Georgia. So it was a great time. It was a great time. But I, I definitely had to catch up on some sleep. Oh, gotcha, John. I was trying to figure out, like, what? What do you mean by that? Well, that's just competitive Pete Rose, man. Kind of like how when uh, Sean Taylor knocked out the, a kicker during a... Uh, the, during a uh, was it an All Star game? Well, it was the yeah, it was the uh, the Pro Bowl. Uh, Ernie Banks for the Cubs to one seventy five. No plays off. Will they ever put him in the uh, in the Hall of Fame? A lot of people say no. I met Pete Rose once. He's an okay guy. What up, uh, King Daimus? How are you? Right, isn't he isn't he banned because of the gambling situation? Did he at least bet on his own team? Because if anything, he deserves to be. At the top of the Hall of Fame. You know how balling you got to be to bet on your own team while you're still playing? That's that's pretty pimp. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's what he did. But it would be pretty pimp if he did. Damon. It's out. Damon. Oh, what up? Now, if he, bit, uh, if he like, bet against his team... That would be kind of no, no. That that would be yeah. That would be not be no bueno, no bueno. But you know how much of a boss you gotta be. Like yo, we're gonna win, and I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna put my money on it. <laughs> Just just a little bit, David. Just a little bit. How's everything with you, uh, Allen? Ray Allen? By any chance? What's up, Kirk? After this, we got Donner's Basketball, number eight. Woo! I'm wooing because I'm so excited. Got the guy a little bit of the flu. What I used, to, what I always do, I I like uh, I like to do these things called um, vitamin cocktails, where vitamin C, for example, it'll tell you like, oh, don't exceed a thousand milligrams in a day or something like that. I say, Psh, I'm gonna take two thousand milligrams, baby. So like I, I just I I take super doses of, of of vitamins whenever I feel like I'm getting the flu. So like, dude, I'll take I'll take freaking vitamin C, vitamin like I'll go through the whole alphabet of vitamins and minerals and whatnot, and I just I just pump it in the system, yo. And I drink a lot of water, and I get sick maybe twice a year. It's not that bad. 
Uh, Kirk, I do have Phoenix football coming up, but it's not until the last of the eBay breaks. Uh, Phoenix football is the last of our eBay breaks. If I had to give you a time frame, I would say an hour and a half. Mainly because that Donner's basketball takes a good amount of time. Adam Kennedy for the Angels autograph right there. Yeah, dude, dub double up on everything. And, of course, you know what they say, rest is uh, very, very crucial to, uh, to getting better. So make sure you get some rest, man. And you'll kick that thing in no time. I only get sick twice a year when, when the weather changes, for example. Which doesn't happen very often in Florida. But, like, for the one week that it'll get cold, I get sick. Uh, Howie, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Luckily for you, we always do a recap at the end of the break. And I'm almost at the end of the break because this is the fifth and final box. So sit tight. And you'll find out whether you got a hit or not here shortly. Shame on you for being late, though. Shame on you. Oh, another thing. You can also go back up to two hours on the eBay stream. Or I should say the YouTube stream uh, for the eBay breaks. If you absolutely cannot wait for uh, the videos to be uploaded, you can always go back on the YouTube stream up to two hours. Cool little feature, cool little feature. Well, dude, I've been gone for the past five days. Took a little, uh, a little break tizzle, if you will. Went to go visit some family in Georgia. I've been gone since last Thursday. No problem, Howie, no problem. What up, Smokey? Oh, redoing the floors. Got caught in the middle of it. Oh, man. What do you put? Are you putting, like, wood down or something? Maybe that's why you got sick, bro. Maybe taking out carpet, all that dust and all that stuff, man. No bueno. We have Terry Steinbeck, the A's autograph. But yeah, uh, David, I was gone for uh, for a few days there. Went to Georgia, spent some time with family. Recharged my batteries, if, if you will. A little bit. All right, last stack here. We got Garrett Cooper, Marlins, 175. Yeah, dude. You know, it's funny you say that because uh, I went to uh, the house I was staying at. They got a bunch of dogs. And with carpet? Oh, no. That is no bueno. Speaking of buenos, that's the end of the break. So let's go ahead and recap this thing, shall we? We got a Garrett Cooper Marlins, 175. Ernie Banks Cubs, 175. Justin Turner Dodgers, now 99. Miguel Cabrera Tigers, 99. Chris Archer of the Rays to 175. And Goose Gossage of the Padres to 175. Uh, I also found this Juan Soto rookie card to 25 for the Nationals. That's pretty sweet. I found this Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers. Got the old school Tops logo there. Variation. Pretty sweet. But the stuff you really want to see. The autos we got. Terry Steinbeck. 150 A's. Adam Kennedy. Angels. Ray Foss. Indians. Pat Neshek. Phillies. Rich Aurelia. Giants. Kenny De Nunez to the Sandlot spot. Jose Mesa Indians, Roberto Alomar Padres, Harrison Bader, rookie for the Cardinals, and Wally Backman, autograph for the Mets. And that was the break, my peeps. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.